we've met in January through a mutual friend and we started to talk and I became instantly attracted to him and it wasn't because of looks we talked and we disconnected and it wasn't until I'd say the fifth date or the fifth time we were out together that he told me he had something he wanted to tell me so we had went outside at my home on my terrace and he said I'm HIV positive if you have a problem with that I understand he said if you want to continue and go further into this relationship we can I decided to willingly go into that relationship I think after he told me was when he became a little bit less affectionate I don't know if it was him not being able to accept himself or understand how I could accept him for what he was. I don't, I don't, I don't know what goes on in someone's head like that. I, to, my, to me, what I perceived it was that now that he finally told me, now he feels weird and he distanced a little bit. And well, we all do that in relationships. So if we tell someone something and then we start creating what their reaction without finding mm -hmm. out what it is. I've also learned that he was an alcoholic. I didn't learn the song until he moved in. And I guess being on HIV medication and alcohol is not a good thing. And he wound up trying to kill me in my home. He wound up beating me to the point that I could not even stand up. I've never experienced anything like this before in my life. I never thought I was gonna survive when someone has their hands wrapped around your throat. And I couldn't even hear him. I couldn't see. I didn't feel myself breathing. I felt myself getting weak and my only reaction was to bite him, to get him off of me and then to be chased and grabbed and beat down hallways to the point that I couldn't even, I was crawling and curled up in the ball in the corner being kicked and I felt like I was a kid. It scared me because I'm like, I had sex with this man. I'm protected because I was told that you can't contract it unless I have a sore in my mouth or if I have a cut. You can't contract it if we have anal sex and there's no pre-cum. And I come to learn that that's not true. And I thought I had it or I thought I could have contracted it and it took three months for me before I could be tested. And it scared the shit out of me. I openly knew and I believed him because he had it and I believed that if he knew he had it, he knew what he could and couldn't do. Yeah, I'm gonna call bullshit on this. I think you weren't feeling good about yourself. I was. I honestly was. I really did. I honestly believed I know him. you really well, my friend. I know you since you're... I think... I didn't get into it. You didn't always have great self-esteem, maybe. No. Maybe a part of you... I mean, what were you thinking? I was thinking do you feel loved? I loved him. But do you feel loved? In what sense? In the world. Way? In the sense that you By people that. in general or, or by myself? Do you feel loved in the world by yourself and by people? I now feel loved by myself and now I feel I now feel loved by people. I think I was always loved by people, I just couldn't see it. I was too busy downing myself to not see what I was really worth in this world. If you could go back to your childhood, to little Frank, what advice would you give him that you think would have made your life easier? Learn how to not trust is easy. Learn how to get to know somebody. Learn how to take chances. Because there's some chances in my life that I probably didn't take that I should have, and I probably made me a better person. And it wouldn't have taken this long. Like, what chances? With my career, with then forgiving people, with loving myself. That took me a very long time. What I know to be true about life. Mm -hmm. Life is not always what you think it is. 
Life is not perfect. Life is what you make of it. And you need to learn how to make the right choices. And you need to learn how to love yourself before you love somebody else. You need to learn how to forgive 